this video, we are going to learn on how to find derivative of a trigonometric function. But we are going to include function like sine u, cos u, tangent u, secant u, cot u, and cosec q with u equals to fx. So we have a few formula here. When we differentiate sine u, the answer will be cos u. The angle will follow. But we have to differentiate our angle and multiply with the whole expression. For b, when differentiate cos u, we are going to get negative sine u. And don't forget to differentiate our angle and multiply with the answer. For c, differentiate tangent u, the answer will be secant square u. But we have to differentiate the angle and multiply with the whole expression. Similarly, for d, when differentiate secant u, the answer will be secant u tangent u. And next, we have to differentiate our angle. When differentiate cosec u, the answer will be negative cosec u cot u. And we have to differentiate our angle as well and multiply with the answer. For d, differentiate cot u, the answer will be negative cosec square u. And we have to differentiate the angle as well. So that are formulas to guide you on how to differentiate trigonometric function. So let's try an example. Find the derivative of sine ln x. And for b, the question is find the derivative of cos sine for x. So I'm going to start with question a first. So for question a, I'm going to put... y equals to sine ln x. So when differentiate sine, the answer will be cos and the angle follows. So we have now cos ln x. And then don't forget to differentiate our angle. So we have to differentiate ln x. So the final answer will be 1 over x. So this 1 over x is the answer when I differentiate my ln x. So we have 1 over x cos ln x. I just reposition 1 over x as the coefficient of the whole expression. And now let's try question B. So, I'm going to put y equals to cos sine 4x. So, our dy dx is equals to, differentiate cos, the answer will be negative sine. And the angle will follow. In this case, this is our angle. So, we have negative sine sine 4x. And then don't forget to differentiate the angle. So we have to differentiate sine for x. So once we differentiate sine for x, I'm going to put it in front. So we have when differentiate sine for x, it is 4 sine for x. And then don't forget the symbol here, which is the negative. So we have negative here. And then we have sine sine 4x. Now let's try question B. So I'm going to put it this way. y equals to cos sine 4x. So the dy dx is equals to differentiate cos. The answer will be negative sine. And the angle here will follow as well. So we have negative sine, sine for x. But don't forget to differentiate our angle. So we have to differentiate sine for x. So this one will be equals to, okay, so negative here. I'm going to rewrite that. And then when we differentiate sine for x here, 
the answer will be 4 cos 4x and of course multiply with sine sine 4x so that is the answer for question B as a proof that you have watched this video please find dy dx of y equals to sine 3x squared plus 1 and submit the solution to your lecturer thank you